Prosecutors say she flirted her way into an ex-boyfriend's apartment with a plan to kill. And it was only by pure luck that police managed to tie her to the brutal crime. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis live in Rockville tonight to explain what cracked the case against Katrina Ben. Kevin. Well, Leon, this was a classic case of jealousy, anger, and revenge. Katrina Ben, a now convicted murderer, shot and killed her boyfriend, Eric Samoa. The motive here, Leon? Well, Katrina Ben learned she wasn't the only woman in Samoa's life. It was like 25 bears coming off my back. Eric Samoa's family elated that Katrina Ben is going away for good. Life will never be the same again for our family. It was June 2012 at this upscale Silver Spring apartment complex. Police found Samoa lying dead in his bed with a gunshot wound to his head, a bullet casing left behind. Police say Katrina Ben was so convincing, they initially ruled her out as a suspect. But then, days later, a park ranger spotted something along the Capitol Beltway. It was this handgun, which detectives tracked right back to Ben. Well, Eric was the shining star of our family. In court today, a bombshell. Photographs of Ben attending Samoa's funeral. Prosecutors declaring this was an execution-style, close-range, cold-blooded, premeditated murder. She killed him because of a place she was relegated to on his social calendar, and that is inexcusable. The grudging girlfriend then stood up and told Samoa's family, I am deeply moved by each of your impact statements, and I'm very sorry for your loss. Can't bring my brother back, but this will be a closure for our family that she will be spending the rest of her time in prison without parole plus another 20. Well, the judge here certainly didn't care for Katrina Ben, calling her cold, calculated, devious, and narcissistic. He then sentenced her to life without parole plus another 20 years, and he justified that sentence saying Katrina Ben has no hope for reform. Pretty harsh words. We're live in Rockville. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.